Hello everyone and welcome to Bowling's for Aquatics. Today we're going to talk a little bit about taking care of your poison dart frogs. Taking care of poison dart frogs is super easy as long as you follow some simple steps and do a little bit of research. Today we're going to talk a little bit about lighting, feeding, temperature, humidity, habitat, and more. First thing we're going to talk about is lighting. Lighting isn't all that important when it comes to your dart frogs in particular, but your plants can be a little more selective. Um, some plants like low lighting, some plants like high lighting, some like it somewhere in the middle. Uh, I find that the best bet is to keep it somewhere in the middle. Um, most plants will do pretty well uh, in that range. Um, but you want to keep in mind that if you have a lot of structure that goes towards the top, um, that you pay attention to what kind of lighting that you're using. Uh, if you're using LEDs, uh, it's not really a problem, but if you're using like halogen bulbs or something like that that produce a lot of heat, uh, it can get pretty warm up there. So your frogs are just gonna hang somewhere towards the bottom and stay away from that excess heat. Now we're going to talk a little bit about feeding. Uh, for the most part, when you buy your frogs from the store or get them shipped to you on the internet, um, they're going to show up as a froglet. And for the most part, your froglets are going to want something that's small and easy for them to eat. Um, so for the most part, it's going to be uh, springtails or pinhead crickets. Um, from time to time, you'll get one that will accept uh, fruit flies right off the bat. Uh, if that's the case, then wonderful. Um, but I recommend that you have different options on hand um, in case you get a little bit pickier of a frog um, that wants something small and tiny that's easy for it to, to get a hold of. Um, I have other tutorials on this channel uh, showing you how to make your own isopod, um, springtail, and fruit fly cultures. So I recommend that you check those out um, and take what information from those that you will and create your own cultures, uh, particularly with the fruit flies and the springtails so that you have a constant food source for your frogs uh, so that they're always gonna be fat, happy, and healthy. Next thing we're going to talk about is humidity and temperature. Uh, as far as humidity goes, somewhere between 80 to 100% humidity is perfect. Um, if you see some condensation on your glass uh, of your habitat, that means you're doing something right. To make things a little bit easier, um, I found this automatic spray system on Amazon. I think it was like 80 bucks. Uh, you can set you know how many times it goes off each day uh, and how long it goes off for and it makes things a little bit simpler uh, as far as making sure that the proper humidity is kept um, I have no complaints about this system whatsoever besides it only comes with two spray nozzles or atomizers um, but other than that uh, my frogs every time it goes off they come out and forage on any little insects that are coming out and enjoying the new humidity being added to the system. Uh, I also recommend that you get one of these little things. Um, basically it checks your humidity and your temperature at all times and you can check it at a glance. Makes things super simple. Um, as far as temperature goes, I recommend that you keep it somewhere between 70 to 80 degrees. 
Some people recommend 75 to 85. I just think 85 is a little bit too warm. Um, and I've had really good success keeping it somewhere between 70 to 80 degrees. Last thing we're going to talk about is habitat. Now, for the most part, um, as long as you give them the proper humidity, proper temperature, plenty of places to hide, some things to climb on, and plenty of forest space to forage on, you're going to have happy and healthy dart frogs. But, you know, for example, um, strawberry dart frogs, in my experience, like to climb a little more than what per se the the tinctorious uh azurius dart frogs do um but as long as you give them the same basic habitat they have plenty of place to forage uh plenty of plants that are going to thrive in the environment uh, that they're living in uh, that they can climb on that they can hide in um, proper humidity proper temperature you're going to have happy and healthy dart frogs you don't have to do anything special um, just you know put plenty of plants plenty of structure for them to get into and hide and forage on and I promise you you will have happy and healthy dart frogs so thank you guys for watching thank you for listening to me ramble on I appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.